What's going on guys, Zio here from the Awesome Ride Show, bringing you more Marvel Legends. This time we have another ride set, where as you can see here, we have the Cosmic Ghost Rider, which is really cool. I think this looks amazing, this set. With the Cosmic Ghost Rider and the bike, it just looks super cool. But then, kind of unfortunately, we also get the unbeatable Squirrel Girl, so her set's a little less impressive. It's cool, it comes with some squirrels and stuff, but the scooter, I think, is kind of stupid, just a reuse of the old Deadpool one. But we get Squirrel Girl there as well, so two cool sets, I guess, overall. I think the Ghost Rider is obviously the coolest thing ever um definitely one of the best rides probably they've made and the squirrel girl is okay as well too i'm excited to get these out and check them like especially i want to see this bike all together for the ghost rider and then the actual figure itself because it looks so cool as well so and then the squirrel girl i just want to see the squirrels that look like they're chocolate candy or something like that but i'm excited to get into them and i hope you are as well if you are let me know in the comments down below leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoy and of course hit that subscribe button down below but let's go ahead and get into them so this ghost rider as you can see looks amazing the bike is awesome the figure itself looks amazing this is probably just one of the coolest Marvel Legends I've ever seen. This thing is ridiculously cool. Well, let's go and start with the bike first, I guess, just to kind of get a quick overview. So we have the Hell Bike here. Of course, it's a different version for an interstellar kind of space travel version. So it's a little bit different than we normally see for Ghost Rider, obviously, from the just normal Hell Bike of the bicycle on fire. We get the interstellar version, so it can fly through space and it can travel over pretty much any surface because with the big, like, gyrosphere ball here on the front, it keeps it levitated off the ground. I like the clear pedestal it even has here and then the fire to make it go forward, as is obvious and then we have the exhaust pipes coming off the back the foot pedal the seats the handle a little ball on the front that I assume to be like a light or something but could be anything but the ball here on the front looks pretty cool so it's two halves you had to put together and stick on here and as you can kind of see there is kind of like electricity or like plastic little things inside of there that would give it some effect but it just looks super amazing of course the bike looks super futuristic reminds me of like the shape of like a Star Wars bike or something just the way it's shaped out of course the seat and it's a nice like leather and it has some stitching on detail I don't know if I can get it close enough I can kind of see it maybe from this side there and you you can even see it has like the skull in it because if you don't know the cosmic ghost rider is frank castle so the punisher so it has the punisher skull built into the stitching which looks pretty cool and it's also cool it has some holsters here on the side to hold the guns which is pretty cool and here, so there's a look at the side profile from the front i love that ball in the front of it and then the back of course there and then it's on the pedestal that does have some movement so you can get it like to move around you know side to side so backwards forward so you can kind of get it positioned however you want it to it's pretty cool that it's got that but we'll sit down in the back and then look at the figure and again this ghost rider is just amazing and again like i mentioned it's frank castle i'll go over his story here in a little bit but compared to other marvel legends this figure is pretty plain he doesn't have all the same joints but look at this figure it just looks amazing i love it with the armor so like i said this is frank castle where the punisher but he's now become the ghost rider and he travels in space and everything so he has this cosmic armor on with all sorts of like steel armor there you can see around his legs on the chest here even has the punisher logo i like the red eyes there and stuff but the punisher logo so the skull with the teeth coming down some additional armor pieces armor there on his arms again and the silver i like the like cosmic blue things there on his arm that's also on his bike and then the nice big old shoulder pads look like the legion of doom shoulder pads but nice big old shoulder pads with the spikes on it and then we have his head up there so we have the ghost rider head and since he is cosmic and interstellar he has a like dome over the top i assume so he can breathe but he still has the flaming skull head, which is pretty cool. We have this all red skull, the yellow eyes. It's kind of translucent down towards the mouth, if you can see that. And then it has this yellow flame that's wrapped around the head. And so that's one thing that's unfortunate. We don't get any like movement or anything because it's inside that dome. So we can't move his head around. But a thing that I find really cool about this is if you look really close on the pieces of armor that are just all black, he has these little splotches and they look, I assume, to be like stars and stuff. But they're a cool blue and like pink color. So there's like pink on one side, blue on that side. And it continues down his legs and up on to his chest there and then it switches on the arm so we have pink on this side now and blue on that side and that's just the thing I think is really cool I just love that detail on it if you go to the back you can kind of see the details that does look like a leather jacket so it still kind of maintains that ghost rider appeal but then the all armored legs down below to the boots just look super cool so again no movements in the heads or anything but the shoulders do come up a little over 90 degrees and as you can see the shoulder pads are a thin plastic and they are just attached to one little spot so they do move out of the way and you can rotate them can probably get it to go away around you just have to get around the armor but then he's got the bicep twist and a double elbow joint with the elbow pad there. And then we go to the wrist. They twist all the way around and can flex back and forth. Then we got his ab crunch so he can crunch forward that much, back that far. And then he can also twist around in there so you can get a nice swivel movement. And then we got his legs. So his legs come out. looks like 90 degrees off to the side some. He has the thigh twist and a double knee joint with the knee pad there on the front. And it doesn't really bend too far though. You can get a little bit over a 90 degree angle. And then the foot is on a ball joint there. So we have the ball up top so it allows 
it to twist around there and then we have the actual foot that can go back and forth and then it can also swivel itself but it's hard because the ball's so loose so we don't get all the same joints but i assume he'll still be pretty easy to get onto the bike that we'll do in a second and with it being ghost rider he has some classic ghost rider stuff so he has the hellfire chain so we have the big old chain here that you can just pop into his hands and then he also has some cosmic guns which are pretty cool so they're these nice big beefy guns and they have these attachments you can stick on but just nice big old guns that you can obviously put in his hands you know so he can use guns and you can attach these on to make it look like you know he's actually firing it has flames coming out and we have two different versions they're a little bit different in shapes and sizes and so they look a little bit different but they do go onto the bike as well so if we pop the flames off and then pull the bike up you just have to kind of match it up so like this gun goes in on this side and they lock in pretty good which is pretty nice and then we have the other side you have to kind of get it moved out of the way for it to fit in but once you get it in it fits in there pretty nice so we have those to go in there and then we can just take ghost rider and we'll go and sit him on the bike now so there we go we've got cosmic ghost rider there on the bike and it looks super cool just that together just looks amazing this is probably the coolest thing and again you can kind of get it to go move around and everything just to kind of get it posed up a little bit there but i do want to tell you a little bit about him so as i mentioned this is frank castle so the punisher but he's now the ghost rider and the origin of this is that there was a fight on earth of the earth's heroes against thanos so kind of like we saw in infinity war but frank castle ended up getting killed by a falling building and he went to hell of course where there he made a deal with mephisto to turn him into the ghost rider so that way he could come back and get vengeance on thanos but unfortunately once he returned back to earth he saw that everyone was dead so he's pretty much all alone by himself on earth and as the ghost rider he's immortal so he's not gonna die or anything so he just had to kind of travel the earth all by himself until eventually galactus arrives on earth looking for the help of earth's heroes in a fight against thanos but realizing that ghost rider was the only one left they partnered up and went off into space searching for thanos and after eventually finding him thanos killed galactus and thanos made a promise to ghost rider that he could if he joined him he'd be able to get vengeance on all the people he wants in the world so ghost rider did and he ended up getting these cosmic powers and then of course the story continues on there's storylines where he went back in time and got baby thanos and everything so all sorts of fun stuff i wish they included a little baby thanos to put with him it would have been cool and as being a combination of ghost rider and a servant of thanos he got powers combined so he has the spirit of vengeance powers from ghost rider mixed in with the power cosmic and so with the spirit of vengeance powers he gets the hellfire manipulation so that his whole body with fire and he control fire and everything especially like with the chain and he also has superhuman strength and durability he has the pin and stare so where he just stares into your face and if you're a bad person you know it pretty much just kills you he's immortal and he has the ability to possess people and then mix that with the power cosmic he has interstellar travel so especially like with his bike and his outfit he also has cosmic energy projection cosmic pin and stare so like an even worse version of the pin and stare and telekinesis so he's just super badass character immortal and just looks amazing and this figure is probably one of my favorite marvel legends of the year and next up we've got squirrel girl or dorian green and this is a pretty fun looking figure but like i said it's kind of pointless overall i hate the little moped bikes but squirrel girl still is pretty cool and then she comes with some squirrels so it makes it all pretty good but again we'll look at the moped first so as you can see we got the little squirrel so we'll just look with those so we have a couple little squirrels so again we have one that's kind of laying down and that's why i kind of put him on the back there because he kind of fits perfectly there to go on the back of the seat but we've got that little squirrel we have a little squirrel here eating a acorn so that's pretty cool it's like it's like sitting down all curled up and everything and then we have another one that has a pink bow tie wrapped around it which i did see reading that she has a couple squirrels that she's named because obviously she's squirrel girl she can communicate with squirrels we'll talk about that in a second but she does have a couple squirrel friends and i obviously they're not labeled or anything but it said that she does have friends of monkey joe tippy toe slippy pete mr freckles and nutso have all been squirrels that she's actually named but obviously they're not labeled so who knows if any of these are them but those are kind of cute but then we have the actual moped which is just you know a, a reuse of the same one we got with the deadpool figure it's obviously just painted in like a teal or maybe a green color could be but designed exactly the same it has the little nice wicker basket there attached to the front we have of course the controls for the moped here so the handles you can see the speedometer there the rear view mirrors has a little horn there that could honk as you move the handles there it also twists the wheel around and then it, we just got the scooter white c white some white detailings there on the back an exhaust pipe tail light of course the back wheel and then a stand that helps keep this standing up so again nothing too special or exciting about this i think the deadpool one came with stickers i didn't find any stickers in the box so i don't know if they included those again so again it's just another boring thing it looks really nice so i like the color but it's just nothing i would really care too much for but i do care though about the squirrel girl so this is a nice looking figure unfortunately it's hard to get to the stand up because she has the giant squirrel tail there on the back so you have to get her to lean forward to be able to actually stand but that's a good thing about the moped if you put her on there she'll be able to you know stay and everything but she looks pretty cool so she's obviously squirrel girl she has some powers and stuff of a squirrel so she kind of dresses a little bit like a squirrel so there's a look at her face so she has a nice short red haircut she has a little band on there with some ears to give her like the squirrel ears and there's a look at her face that almost looks like she has too much makeup on she has a nice deep red lipstick on some makeup there around her eye to make her eye all dark but her eyebrows look a little bit too red it's almost like she took the lipstick and put it on her eyebrows and then it's kind of fun she has some little acorn 
different earrings there in her ears. She's got a little like bomber jacket on with the fur on the inside, so dark brown on the outside, light tan color there on the inside with the fur. Then she's got a nice like little spandex outfit on of a dark brown, has some gray fur at the top, and it just covers up her upper body there. And you can see at the little bottom here, she has some fur there around her leggings. Then she has some gray leggings on there going down to the boots with the dark brown boots, and again, some more of like the grayish fur there at the top of them. And then I forgot to mention, she also does have a belt on there, so a nice brown leather belt and the big obvious thing on her is the squirrel tail attached to their back unfortunately it doesn't really move or anything like has a little bit of wiggle but it's not on any joint or anything so you can't really get it to move but it's nice just like a big thing of hair of course like a squirrel's tail is so it's nice big thing sticking out of her there and then for her joints though we got her head moves so I can twist all the way around if you want it it can look down quite a bit come up a little bit her hair kind of interacts with the collar on her jacket then we got her shoulder joints so her shoulder can come out a little bit over 90 degrees and this shoulder is real stiff but it can also rotate around then she's got a single elbow joint so you can see it there with the twist the hand can twist around and flex then right under her chest she does have a little bit of a crunch but of course her jacket and everything doesn't allow it to move too much but she's got a little bit of a crunch in there but it mostly a twist is what she's got then her legs can come up looks like 90 degrees and then off to the side a good amount thigh twist and a double knee joint shin twist right there at the top of the boot and then the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side so all the good normal usual movements and everything but let's try and get her on the moped so there we go it was kind of hard to get her on here just because her legs are so big she doesn't really sit down on the scooter so it's kind of hard to get on and i just stuck the little squirrel up there but as i mentioned i want to tell you about dorian green so she when she was born she was born with the tail of a squirrel so that was a little bit weird for her and then as she got older she discovered that she could understand squirrels talking to each other and she was able to communicate with them and she developed more traits similar to a squirrel and so with the powers of a squirrel she has superhuman strength she has superhuman jaw strength she has leaping ability climbing ability she has night vision a knuckle spike that'll come out of her hand healing fat and she's an expert at computer science. So that kind of gives you a little understanding about Squirrel Girl. She just looks like a girl that's obsessed with squirrels and wears a tail and stuff, but she actually has some powers and some pretty good powers at that. So it fits pretty well for her. So that's gonna be it for the video here on these new Marvel Legends rides of the Cosmic Ghost Ride, which again, I think is absolutely amazing. I think the figure itself is pretty cool and then mix it in with this awesome looking bike. I just think that's absolutely amazing. And then the Squirrel Girl itself, like I said, the figure itself I really like, but like the actual scooter and stuff I don't care about. So it's just gonna be a nice figure to have by itself. So I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what your opinions are. Put them down in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And of course, hit that subscribe button to see more Marvel Legends. Thank you all for watching. Stay awesome, and I'll see you next time.